In this presentation, I'd like to talk a little bit about identification or identity. And now you have two kinds of identity, digital and personal. In this one, I want to begin by talking about my personal identity. And that's usually recognized by, in the real world, ID cards. Now, my first ID card was in Boy Scouts, and it's a very simple ID card. There's no picture, only writing, and just very basic information. My first uh, student ID was at uh, university, and when I got to Barcelona, my university uh, ID in Barcelona. Here's another idea for uh, my work permit. After I finished university in Barcelona, I began teaching English. And then I came to Japan and I started studying Japanese. Got another ID there. Uh, this is a passport ID. And uh, then uh, Showa Women's University ID looks a little bit different. Now, IDs only show a certain part of your identity. There are other things. For example, I like to play bass and I like music. I used to have a radio show and I'd like to travel to places like Izu. And here are some profile pictures that I like to use in social media. Also, another side of identification is things that you make and things that people can read and watch and see. For example, uh, I published some poetry at the university publication in college. And uh, then I was publishing articles uh, in a journal for linguistics. Uh, I wrote some books. Uh, here's another book that I edited. And I wrote uh, some more articles in different journals and publications. I did many different kinds of presentations, mostly about technology and teaching and in many, many different countries. I created two CD-ROMs and uh, for language teaching. I did 260 radio programs. Right now I have uh, five different websites online. Two kinds of Moodle. Uh, Moodle is a kind of way to teach uh, with uh, online. Uh, a magazine. Uh, I do four blogs and I read about 300 emails every day. Here's an example of my website. Here's another one for Showa, an unofficial departmental website. Here's one for language in Japan. And here's one for teaching uh, for mobile language learning. Now, on the internet, if you want to find out, I'm usually, I call myself Tokyo Kevin. That's one other ID. So in social media, YouTube, Facebook, many other things like that, I'm Tokyo Kevin. So if you want to find me, it's very, very easy. Just look for Tokyo Kevin. Now, I have a challenge here. What about you? Have you ever looked up your name on Google. That's always a really, really interesting uh, kind of ID. I have Google send me an email every week that has information about every Kevin Ryan in the world. And there are many, many Kevin Ryan, some of them more famous than me. There is a guitar maker. Uh, a politician, there is a horse racer, uh, many, many other Kevin Ryans.
So your identity is really, really important. So you should protect your identity. Yes, and make sure, especially online, that your identity is safe. And here I want to show you exactly how to make your identity more safe. There are two main tools. Yes, you need a password manager and something called 2FA or two-factor authentication. 2FA. You can look those up in Nihongo de and find out. Now, password manager is a software on your computer or on your phone that remembers all of your passwords and it helps to log in automatically on a website. And the password manager remembers all the logins for you. You can uh, watch. Here is a short video about password managers. I will put a link in the presentation at the end. You can watch uh, whenever you like. Now, the password manager that I use is called LastPass. Uh, one password uh, is good for uh, Apple, uh, but it does for all the others. But LastPass does for any computer or phone. It has more wide uh, possibilities. 2FA is called two-factor authentication. This is a different tool, another tool, and it's uh, authentic means real. It makes sure that you're real. Oop, sorry. And uh, what it does is that it has a second check. Again, there's a video here about that. I will put the link in the presentation. But basically, the idea is that if you go to a website, then your telephone, if you log into a website, you have to ask uh, the telephone uh, gives you a special number that you can enter in to make sure that everything is correct. That way, someone, if even if someone gets your username and password, they still cannot log in. And here's how it works. Yeah, so you get two minutes to uh, approve, and automatically it adds the uh, password and the special two-factor analysis code. Okay, so you just be careful uh, with your master password. You keep your master password, and don't forget, if you have LastPass, there's one password, your last password. And if you remember that, you can log in from anywhere on the Internet to get all of your other passwords. So, now, uh, thinking of a good password is very difficult. Uh, some kind of kotowaza is a good idea, and the best way is to get one first letter from each of the passwords. Yes, so here we have hyaku, yes, and here we go, and there is that's your password. It's easy to remember and impossible to guess. Okay, and I think that's all for today.